The president of the Defense and Police Officers' Wives Association is calling on the federal government and the Nigeria military to provide a better institutional support system for officers and their families. This is one of the suggestions made in her book, The Journey of a Military Wife. The Depoa president captures her experiences and valuable insights into the challenges and rewards of being married to a military officer. The government should find a way to regulate the length of time husbands stay at the war front, stay away from families. Even if they have to stay for a long time, they could have an arrangement where military wives can be taken to the location to visit their husbands if the husbands cannot come home. Sharing her experience as wife of a former military general, First Lady of Nigeria Aisha Buhari says more should be done to help officers and soldiers' wives navigate the challenges within the military community. The First Lady is also asking for more privileges for former presidents. As wife of the president, ex-executive ex wife of the president, I would like to use this medium to, to, to speak on behalf of the former first ladies of Nigeria to be able to, you know, the federal government to listen to our, or to consider us as people that need help, not as magic makers. And also, the privileges that is given to the former presidents of Nigeria, they should do more, is still not enough, considering what people go through in that house. Spouse of the author and Chief of Defense Staff General Loki Rabo says the book is a call to consciousness on the duties of a husband. Going to the book, of course, where my wife gave me the master's on the script to go to, I realized that as a, as a husband and as a father, and indeed as a husband, or if you like, even if you're also, that there is so many, a good number of things that we have actually taken for granted. And the reflections that I got from the book, even though we are experiences we have lived together with, but of course it brought to consciousness what perhaps we need to do um, as, as an armed forces. The POA last year performed the groundbreaking and foundation laying ceremony of its post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD center. The association seeks to provide better service to servicemen and retirees who suffer from mental, emotional and psychological trauma due to experience in service. Ferdinand Durohar, Arise News.